Miss Craven, how long have you known Miss Gonzalez? Roughly six years. How do you know her? She's like a family friend. How old are you? 24. And I gather from reading these papers, she's been very nice to you. Yes. Both emotionally supportive and financially supportive. Yes. You don't live with her? No. Who do you live with? Myself. Do you work? Yes. Full time? Yes. Do you have any kids? One on the way. And where is that child's father? He's with me. So you live together? Yes. Does he work? Yes. You ran into some financial difficulty? Yes. When? Um, I ran into some financial difficulty in May. Of this year? 2018, yes. What was the financial difficulty? Uh, my hours had got cut back in May, um, and I had called Andrea and was just venting to her, letting her know, you know, my hours had gotten cut back. I don't know how I'm going to pay my insurance. Um, I was just venting to her. And she told me she would call me back. She called me back and told me, don't worry about it. I, I already paid it for you. That was the first thing. Well, tell me how that was accomplished. She immediately asked for my policy number. OK, of course, we have to have all that information. Yes. So it didn't come as a total surprise to you. There was a discussion, and the discussion had to do with the insurance. And you gave her your policy number and how much the amount was. So I want to hear that part of the conversation. OK. So I was venting to her about how I couldn't pay for my car insurance. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. My hours got cut back. Was the boyfriend living with you at the time? No. When did the boyfriend move in? July. Ju yeah, uh, July. Why did he move in with you? Um, we just started dating. I found out I was pregnant. So he moved in with me. We're going to go back to the conversation. Yes. I don't know how I'm going to pay my insurance. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't know what I'm going to do. I was just venting to her. I used the word yes. venting nine times already. <laughs> At some point, yes. you gave her your policy she number. She asked for my policy number. She asked for my policy number. I gave it to her. You mean you didn't say, why do you want my policy number? No. I, I didn't question it at all. Just a second. Somebody says to you, can I have the name of your insurance carrier and your policy number, and you don't question her? I did not. OK. Not believe. <laughs> you know? It used to be a game. What was that called? When you gave an untruthful answer, you know, the duck quacked or something happened. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you pay for her car insurance? $280, Your Honor. OK. Now, when was the next time you needed money? The next time was in June, a month later. I was driving down the street with my girlfriend, and she had forgotten her phone. So instead of turning all the way around, I just backed down the street, and I had hit my neighbor's car. I panicked, and it was just a tiny dent. It was a little ding in my car, their car. I drove down the street, and I called Andrea. And again, I was just telling her, like, I don't know what to do. Um, I just hit this car. It's my first accident. I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. And she um, told me to just relax and to go to Breakmasters across the street. And when I got there, I left my car there. When I came back, they'd given me a receipt. Andrea had called and paid for it already. Let me understand this. You're old enough and smart enough to live in your own house, to drive a car, to get pregnant with somebody who just moved in with you. But you didn't know what to do when you hit somebody's car and took off. That you didn't know what to do with. I panicked. Panic. I'd be panicked at 24 years old if I needed somebody else to pay my car insurance and I was pregnant. That would give me panic. <laughs> then I would be panicked. Not when I backed up and dinged somebody's car. That wouldn't give me a canary. <laughs> Being 24 years old and poor and single and pregnant who would drive me through the roof. <laughs> How much did it cost your friend, Miss Gonzalez, to take care of this ding in your car? $500. And did you need any more money from her? No. That was it? That was it. Is that how much money you gave her? She asked for more money to help in between, so I loaned her another $200. Well, her dates are off. Um, when she asked Don't to tell me the dates. I have $780. She's, if she's forgetting another 200 in cash, tell me about it, and it then I'll ask the, her about it. It was the May 30th she had asked for more money, and I loaned her $200 You mean that, that was after the 280 for insurance? Yes, and after the car repair, her dates are off. She came and asked me for the insurance, and the next day she came to my home to explain to me about the hit and run. It wasn't a month okay, later. Her timeline's off. Did you give her the two hundred dollars in cash? Yes, I did. Do you remember that? No, okay. she never gave it to me. Seven eighty. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Thank you very much. Parties in excuse. You may step out.